When you first set up a pixel, it looks like this. But what if I told you it could look like this? And what if I told you that you could do it without spending any money? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do just that right now. So right here, I have a Pixel 10 that's just been factory reset. I'm a Pixel guy, but if you're a Samsung person or a OnePlus person or use pretty much any other Android phone, these instructions will work the same way, but there might be some little differences here and there. iPhone users, the walled garden prohibits you from doing these things, so you're out of luck, man. The comments are gonna be a mess after saying that. The first thing we need to do is download the three apps we're going to use to make this home screen. And then also download the wallpaper. I'll leave the links in the description, but the three apps are Launcher, which is a launcher, KWGT, which is what we'll use for the widgets, and Unicorn, which is an icon pack. The wallpaper is actually something I made myself, which I'm giving away to anyone who wants to use it because I'm just that kind of a guy. So. Get all that downloaded and I'll explain what each thing is and what to do with it as we go along. Once you've downloaded everything, open up Launcher, which will appear in your app list. This will look very similar to the Pixel interface, but it is way more customizable than what Google offers with the standard Pixel Launcher. You'll quickly notice though, that if you swipe up to go home, you'll just go back to the standard Launcher. To fix this, we need to set Launcher as the default home app. To do that, go to Android settings, apps, then default apps, and then tap home app. Set Launcher as the default app, and now when you swipe up to go home, you'll go to Launcher. I wanna quickly note here that I'm using Launcher for this, but there are so many other launchers out there you could use. If you have a favorite launcher, jump down in the comments and tell everyone about it. Anyway, back to Launcher. If you hold down on an empty space on your Launcher home screen, you'll see options you're probably pretty familiar with. Tap home settings and you'll see a long list of options for how to make lawn chair your own. You could spend hours going through all these to really make the launcher do what you want, but I'm only gonna focus on the things we need to change to get the home screen design this video is all about. Starting from the top, go to general and then scroll down a bit to the icon style section. You'll need to give lawn chair access to some stuff first, but just say allow all. Once you've got that sorted, change the icons to the unicorn icon pack we downloaded earlier. You can choose to tint the icons to the accent color if you want. This will change the icons to match whatever colors you have set for your theme through the magic of Material U theming. I'm gonna leave this off because I wanna keep the standard colors of the icons because that's half the appeal with this very cool, very colorful pack. Go back, go back again, and then hit the home screen section. First. Turn off this toggle for adding new apps to the home screen. This will mess up the theme anytime you install a new app, so definitely don't leave this on. Scroll down a bit further on this page until you see the home screen grid and tap it. This changes how granular you can get with your icon and widget layout on the home screen. For this design, set the column slider to eight and the rows slider to seven. Hit the apply button to save your changes. Okay. Two more quick things to change on this page. So scroll down a bit more until you see this toggle for showing labels. We want our icons to just be icons with no text underneath. So turn this toggle off. Then bring the icon size slider down to 80%. Hit the back button. Now we're about to do something that Pixel users have wanted to be able to do for years and years now with the built-in launcher. Go to the at a glance section and change the permissions so Launcher can do its thing. Then tap the toggle next to show on home screen. This removes the at a glance widget from the home screen. It's so easy to do with Launcher. If only Google allowed us to do it with the regular launcher. Anyway, go back, tap dock and shut this one off too. So there are so many other settings in Launcher that you could change as you see fit, but these are the only settings we need to worry about for this particular theme. So let's swipe up to go home and you'll see that we have a home screen that is almost empty, but we do have some cool looking icons. At this point, I like to start with a clean slate. So let's just remove everything here so that the home screen is completely empty. Once we've done that, we can place our icons. I'm gonna do these 12 icons here, but you can choose whichever ones you want. Just drag them out of the app drawer as you usually would and place them in this position. If you come across an app that didn't automatically get themed, you can still place it, but it might look a bit out of whack with the others. This icon pack gets updated quite often, so it's possible your favorite app will get themed in the near future. 
All right, with our icons placed, let's put down our widgets. To do this, we'll use KWGT, which you downloaded earlier. Open up KWGT through your app drawer and go through the setup stuff. It's pretty straightforward. Just say yes to everything and get it all good to go. You can close the app once you're done because you can't add a widget from here. You need to do that the usual way. So get back to your home screen and then long press on an empty area and tap widgets. Scroll down to the K section until you find custom widgets. Open this and then select the second one and drag it onto the home screen. Get it sized so it looks like this and then tap on it. Now we can pick the widget that will go there. The first widget is built right into KWGT, so it's pre-installed. Scroll through the list until you find it. Tap it and then run through the dialog boxes. Then tap the save icon up here. Swipe up to go home and look at that. The widget is there and it looks great. I love the circle around the clock because that's actually how much battery is left in the phone. It's a subtle way to show you that info, which I love. The next widget we're going to use isn't built into KWGT, so we need to download it from a widget pack on the Play Store. But we can do all of that through KWGT. So do what we did before. Long press on the home screen, pick widgets, put a KWGT widget on the page, size it so it looks like this and in this position, and then tap on it to get back into the app. On this page, scroll a bit until you see GIFT. Tap that and you'll jump right to the Play Store listing. Install this pack and then go back to the app. Now you have access to all the widgets in the GIFT pack. Scroll a bit through the list until you find this one, tap it, hit the Save button up top, give the widget background permissions, tap save again, and then swipe up to go home. The cool thing about these KWGT widgets is that you can interact with them. I'll show you how this works. Tap this widget, tap this text box on the list, tap touch, click the plus button up here, and now we can tell KWGT what to do when you touch that specific part of the widget. Let's have it open the built-in weather app. Tap none, tap none again, tap launch app, tap this blank box, and scroll down to the weather app. Hit the save button and then go back to the home screen. Now, when you tap that specific part of the widget, you can check the weather. Customizing all this stuff is a lot more in depth than I'm gonna go into for this video, but there are tons of YouTube tutorials that will guide you through making these widgets work exactly the way you want. We're only missing one more thing here, which is the wallpaper. You already downloaded this, so we just need to get it on the page. Long press on an empty space and then choose wallpaper and style. You'll see a bunch of options here that you usually don't see with the normal Pixel Launcher. If you don't like my wallpaper, you could select any of these options and find something else, as the Icon Pack has some wallpapers, the Gift Pack we downloaded through KWGT has wallpapers, etc. But let's just hit Wallpaper and Style again and find the wallpaper I made for this. Hit More Wallpapers on this screen, then choose a photo, then Download or Quick Share depending on how you got the wallpaper, and then tap My Design. Go through the typical process of adding a wallpaper, and then when you're done, head back home and bam, you've got a really sweet looking home screen theme. So this theme is cool, but now that you know how all this works, you can create something of your own. There are tons of free and paid KWGT packs on the Play Store. And if you pay for KWGT Pro, you can even download ones you find online and sideload them. You can also start from scratch and make your own widgets. Likewise, there are so many icon packs on the Play Store you can try out. With a new icon pack, a few new widgets, and a new wallpaper, the sky's the limit for how you can make your phone look. If you need inspiration, the Android home screen subreddit is a goldmine of cool designs. But for now, I hope you're happy with your new home screen. If you make something you're super proud of, you should join me and other tech fans on my Discord. We would all love to see your home screen creations. The link is in the description. And if you want to find out more about why I did all this on a Pixel and not something else, why not check out this video up here, which goes over why I'm a Pixel guy. If you haven't already, it would mean a lot to me if you liked and subscribed. I'll see you all down in the comments.